My name's Adam Subra. I'm technical support manager here at Edwards Eastbourne. So from a very early age, I knew that I wanted to be an engineer. Um, first time I ever took apart my father's VCR video recorder and then managed to put it back together again, I knew that disassembling things and fixing things was what I wanted to do, down to my obsession with robots, which went all through university. I mean, my final year project was making robots um, and electronics was the thing for me. My day-to-day -day can vary quite a lot, but as technical support manager, it's, a, it's mostly ensuring that my team uh, have got the right priorities and they've got manageable workload. I do a lot of communication with a lot of other, uh, other manufacturing facilities and uh, other sites. So quite a variety of stuff, not so much hands-on job anymore. In order to do my job, you do need a degree or technical background. Uh, so you need a knowledge in engineering and electronics and maths. You need to be able to talk to large groups of people and actually take quite a commanding role in that, uh, talking to high profile customers as well. The sort of person it's to is someone that has a sound technical background, but also is quite a socially confident person as well. The best bit about what my job is, is the satisfaction that you get when you fix a big customer issue, or when you land a big contract, or you finish a project, uh, you get quite a lot of satisfaction from it. Um, the most demanding part of my job is, is the workload and the, the stress. Uh, you have to be prepared to take on that extra workload and potentially work long hours as well. Um, you need a, a degree level background, so for mine it was uh, Electrical Electronic Engineering Masters, which I did at Sussex University, and that's a, a four year course where you do the masters all in one go. As part of the, my master's degree that I did, there was a lot of uh, business and accounting and communication aspects as well as the technical bits. I started the company as a graduate engineer and you're looking at uh, mid-20s mid in terms of salary as you move up into more senior engineers roles and that's just in terms of experience, uh, you could be 30s, 40s. Uh, then when you start getting into project management or technical management, uh, then you um, can start off in around the 50s and even up to possibly about 70k. So my main tips or advice for a uh, younger me would be to get a taste of what they want to do, to go out and do a bit of experience, maybe try a few different things to make sure even if they've made up their mind of what they want to do, that they've tried a few other things to reaffirm that.